Hey folks, welcome back. So this week we are gonna be doing a little bit of milling and it's just gonna be some milling that I'm doing for fun and also to get a few of these logs uh, slabbed up and moved out of the way because they've been sitting here for a good long while. I don't think that we're gonna end up doing any sort of dimensional stuff out of it, no two by fours or anything like that. This is just gonna be slabs, live edge, or uh, some of them they might be a bit big so we might have to trim one side off and just have one side be live edge in order to get it to fit through the mill. I don't know, we'll see. The first thing that we need to do is get the thumb hooked back up on the forks. That way we can get a hold of these logs while we're moving them around and then also be able to use the forks for moving slabs if we need that. So this first log we have here is a white oak log and this was actually given to me by the guy that sold us the white oak logs that we used for the deck boards for the covered bridge that is not currently covered. Um, this is one that he had laying around here, it's kind of an odd shaped one and for the most part he's selling to uh, companies, to sawmills that are looking for straight, really straight grain. Uh, logs for doing dimensional lumber and not people that are looking for interesting logs to cut up for slabs. So anyway, he gave this one to me. He just threw it on top of the rest of them that we were getting. And so it's been sitting here for about a year now and I haven't gotten around to doing it, partially because I hadn't been able to decide how I wanted to cut it. And the reason for that is that we got here what I do believe is a burl. Uh, it's possible it could be an old branch that was coming out through here and it's just really well healed over, but I'm, I'm hoping it's a burl. And the problem is this is too wide for my mill. Now, what I think I'm gonna do, and it's really weird, but I think it's the way I wanna do it, is that I'm going to flip this 90 degrees with the burl facing down. So this will be kind of in between a couple of log bunks. And then we'll make a couple passes taking wood off to about where the measuring tape is here. At that point, it'll be narrow enough that it'll be able to come through here and slab the rest of this log in this plane. So there's only gonna be about eight or 10 inches of wood at either end because it's got this sweep in it. But then over here, it's gonna be about 22, 23 inches wide, but like I said, I really want to get some slices through this thing to see if there's any interesting grain in there. So that's kind of the only way that I think I can make it work.
Ah, oh, man. Well, I was hopeful, but that is all sorts of rotten inside there. Dang it. I was hoping that would be nice and solid. This first pass that I made earlier, this had some cool grain in here. It's got kind of all, I'm not sure what this exactly that's called, but it's all twisty and curly and I don't know what you call it, but it, it's, it had potential there. But yeah, that just all went out the door, didn't it? I guess I should have cut this thing off, shouldn't I? Should have just knocked that off, slabbed the whole thing up. I would have had this one done by now. Oh well. Ugh. See what the other side looks like. All rotten. Shoot. Ugh. see what all we ended up with. Ugh. I cut these uh, three inches or I guess 12 quarter thick so they're they got a little bit of weight to them so nothing too interesting in here I mean it's white oak so it does have some uh, some fleck or flake or whatever it's called in there some little cool grain whatever it's called uh, there's some of that it's it's pretty it's nothing to nothing to write home about but the question is what is ugh, man what is the other side of this one gonna look like yeah that's that's all soft right there I was hoping it might have been solid by the time you got onto the other side of here but we also got a little something going on right there I don't know if that's that might be bug damage so not quite as good of a log as I was hoping. Although that looks pretty solid down under there. That's all right. But nevertheless, there's some definitely some usable usable wood out of here for something at some point. All right, we got the next one loaded up here. It is I think it might just be a little bit too wide to do a full slab across here. You might have to knock just a little bit off from these corners, but uh, it should be pretty close and we should just about be able to get this full crotch uh, as an entire slab. And then of course down there where there isn't that, it gets a whole lot more narrow. It's maybe 12, 14 inches across. I was originally thinking that this is ash maybe, but now I'm thinking it might be oak. I'm not entirely sure, but it's definitely one or the other. All right, we're gonna move some of these slabs off of here and see what we got. Now that, that is pretty. It's got some kind of wavy grain in there. If the rest of it looks this good, this may be a pretty nice log. I'm trying to get this moved off of here without knocking into you guys. Should have had you stand a little bit further back. There we go. Now that, that is some weird color. It's also a little bit soft along here on the edge, but I'm not sure. I've never seen oak that looks like this before. Mm. Yeah, that's not bad. It's, it's definitely got a seam all the way up through here that's probably gonna split when it starts drying out. But, I don't know. 
Maybe it is Ash. It might be Ash. That's what I thought it was originally. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Those of you that work with with wood maybe know it a little bit better than I do. Tell me what you guys think. I don't know. I'm going to leave this one on here to weight it down while I keep milling. Okay, so this is the one that you already saw. And it's got this weird bluish, greenish, purplish kind of color through there. Which, I don't know, that's just kind of, it's kind of throwing me. I've seen colors like that in poplar before, but I don't know. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I probably should have gotten this one cut up a little earlier than I did, because it's definitely getting a bit soft going down through the middle there. Down here, it's still pretty solid, but all the way the rest down through there, it's good. Some of the parts along the edges, kind of the whole way, is a little soft but that's not too big of a too big of an issue yeah nothing too crazy in this this wood uh, but I don't know the coloration I don't know that's just kind of interesting kind of weird uh, not sure I just I don't know So we're moving over to this pile. This is right up against the property line, against the fence back here. And I'm trying to decide which one I want to work on next. This one right here is a poplar. It's a poplar crotch. It's pretty big, and the outside of it is getting pretty soft. I mean, I can just peel that right off from there pretty, pretty easy. So I'm not entirely sure what the middle's going to be like. Uh, this one we may just kind of cut up and then end up using for firewood. I don't know. But back behind here, we've got some interesting stuff. So this, this one right here is from the big uh, five, six foot white oak that came down along the property line. This is actually a branch out of there. And at some point I wanna get those milled up. But then back here, back here we have something that is legitimately a mystery wood to me. Uh, this was taken down uh, from underneath a power line and I looked at the the leaves and everything when it was taken down and even at that point seeing you know having all the stuff that I could to look at to try and figure out I had no idea what it was. But it was just you know growing wild out here at the farm underneath one of the power lines and I, I got some of the bigger stuff from it when I got cut down, but like I said, I don't know what it is. So I'm kind of thinking we're going to grab either this one, well, I think the one under here, that one is from that same tree, but that one's going to be a little harder to get to. So I'm thinking we're going to grab this one, open that up, see what it looks like inside, and see if we can get any more clues as to what kind of wood this is.
just gonna see what happens here. This thing has a pretty mean curve in it, so it took me probably 10 or 15 minutes just to get it on here positioned right so that I might have a chance at getting a solid first pass there to get this side leveled out without hitting on any of the uprights or any of the blade guides or any of that stuff. So this should be interesting. So milling this log was uh, quite interesting uh, in the fact that it was totally unremarkable. I mean, there's just, the wood is super, super plain, even with having a crotch in here. I mean, normally you have any kind of wood and you have a crotch in it and you're going to get some sort of interesting grain in here. And there is nothing. I mean, there's just absolutely nothing that makes you go, oh, that's kind of pretty. And... So I thought, okay, maybe if I put some, some water on there, slosh some water on here, it'll make it look better. And it didn't, it looked just the same. So I really have no idea what this wood is. It's not super heavy wood. I mean, as far as, I mean, it, it's got weight to it, but it's, it's not nearly as heavy as something like oak or ash or maple or something like that. I mean, it's not, it's not real heavy. It's really plain. It's fairly light colored, not much grain to it. I just, I have no idea, no idea at all. Alrighty folks, so that is gonna do it for this video. Uh, I think I'm gonna start doing a few videos like this from time to time, just trying to knock out some of these oddball pieces of wood that I have laying around. Um, they obviously are not getting any better just sitting there as logs. Uh, they aren't able to dry out well, uh, so they're just going to deteriorate if I don't start doing something with them. So I think I may just start milling a few of these up from time to time, making it into a video and uh, posting that. I've still got probably at least a couple dozen logs like this left that uh, I'm wanting to mill up into just slabs. And it doesn't mean I'm necessarily going to use them as slabs. Uh, I may let them dry out and then cut them down into other smaller pieces. Uh, for more uh, fancy woodworking kind of stuff, but the easiest way to to get them down into a size that's actually going to dry out is just kind of to get them into slabs like this and in, in varying thicknesses and then uh, let them dry out and then eventually use them for something or other. So like I said, that is going to be it for this video. As always, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time.